Oh, man. So uh, I had a crazy week last week. I got in a fight with a homeless guy who thought I was another homeless guy <laughs> stepping in on his turf. Uh, Luckily, they pulled him away from me because I would have died because pretty much every time he hit me, I just looked more homeless. <laughs> it is hard having this face. Uh, I, I can't do racial jokes the way other people can because I look like I fought in the Civil War. <laughs> and you're still not sure what side I was on. But I, I am not racist. I, I do love, I love black girls. Black girls are my favorite. And, Here's why, because they have the amazing ability to predict the future. And this is how I know, in middle school, I asked a black girl to dance with me, and she said, you ugly, ain't no one ever gonna dance with you. And it's been 18 years. My mom uh, was a stand-up comedian. Uh, they used to call her the queen of one-liners because all it took was one line of coke and she was blowing everybody. <laughs> Away with her laughter. <laughs> it's weird for my mom to see me doing comedy because no one wants to see their mistakes making their mistakes. Her best joke took her nine months to deliver. <laughs> but now my mom wants to manage my comedy career, and I was like, all right, mom, why don't you give me some notes? And one of her notes was, you should smile more. You have an angel's mouth. <laughs> I feel I should manage my mom and helping her write pickup lines for pedophiles <laughs> in the wooing phase. Come on, angel mouth. Keep looking at me with them rainbow eyes. I once did that joke and this guy corrected me. He's like, uh, pedophiles don't woo their victims, they groom them. To which I thought, why isn't someone arresting this guy? He's clearly a pedophile. Adele is pregnant now and uh, as a fan, I'm hoping she has a miscarriage because that will give us the greatest album of all time. I love music, but I hate when they, when they, when they censor it. Like I was listening to the CeeLo Green song, uh, Fuck You, and they changed the words on the radio to Forget You. And I don't think those two words are interchangeable, except for the one time I walked in on my grandparents forgetting each other. They were forgetting each other so hard. He kept forgetting her mouth. He kept forgetting her asshole. I, uh, I live in New York now, and uh, they're taking away all our freedom, which is kind of shitty. Uh, uh, for one of the things that they're doing is they're trying to ban large sodas to, to fight obesity. And I don't know where I stand on this ban, because on the one hand, I don't want it to pass because I love soda. But on the other hand, nothing makes me happier than when fat people are angry. <laughs> it is the fucking best. I worked at McDonald's for seven years. The only thing that got me through that job was telling fucking fatties we no longer had the McRib. Oh my God. When you tell a fatty that, they get Game of Thrones fat. It's like, you cannot deny me that which is rightfully mine. I did work at McDonald's for seven years because when you love life, life loves you back. <laughs> and one of my coworkers was like, hey man, could you put in a good word for me over at the McDonald's? I was like, I could tell them you're alive if that's <laughs> what you want. But I want to believe the reason I was at that McDonald's for so long is because I was mean to some old gypsy woman in the drive-thru one morning. I was like, ma'am, it's 1035. We're not selling any McMuffins anymore. And she was like, oh, but I want one. They are ever so delicious. <laughs> and I was like, we're not selling them anymore. And then she was like, from this day forth, <laughs> you shall have the face of a rapist <laughs> and the self-esteem of one of his victims. 
Now, I could comfortably say that joke because I was molested while I worked at the McDonald's. And I'm not just talking the paycheck. It was a coworker, his name was Corneal. No us, just Corneal. And he asked me a question, an awful question. He asked me, do you like black dick? <laughs> now, class, here's why that's a bad question. Because there's no right answer for it. If you say yes, well, you're going to get some black dick. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> and if you say no, you just haven't had his black dick yet, and it becomes this homoerotic version of green eggs and ham, where he's just forcing you to try something. <laughs> I would not like black dick kind, sir. Black dick is not what I prefer. Not here or there or any place. Now get your black dick off my face. <laughs> yes, Corneal touched me, and some people say that his black dick grew three sizes that day. Thank you so much, guys.